How are we going to pay for that? And it's a combination of the investment that government has made. We've made huge investments in, uh, in transit in the GTHA over the last nine years. But it has to be in combination with federal government and other revenue streams. There just isn't any other way to continue to build. Jerry Agar for Ezra, Ezra Levant. People are fed up with new taxes and road tolls are not popular, so the new unelected Premier of Ontario and the people looking to spend $50 billion on public transportation in the greater Toronto area have taken to using the term revenue tools. My new slogan is, we do not have a lack of revenue tools, we have a surplus of tools running the revenue. Candace Malcolm is with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Welcome. Thank you. So you've taken a look at this, and one of the things I found remarkable is you're proving statistically something that I've always kind of suspected and saw in other jurisdictions. We spend more on gas taxes than they spend on the roads. Exactly. And, and you know, when the Premier comes out and says that they have a bit of a revenue problem, that they need revenue tools, a.k.a. new taxes, right. you know, they, they don't look at the actual numbers that they're bringing in. They don't have a revenue problem. They have a spending problem. They bring in more money through gasoline taxes. They're just not allocated to roads. So the money goes into the general revenue and then there's not enough money to spend on fixing and repairing the roads uh, and they should be tied together. Well, we have 2.37 billion from gasoline tax, one and a half billion from HST on gasoline. So you've got 3.86 billion dollars coming in. And here's the one that really hurts. Tax on tax. That, and it's an incredible amount of money that gets added up and taken out of the economy. Yeah, just the way that this whole scheme is put together, it's very convoluted. But they first uh, imposed the gasoline tax. So there's a federal uh, uh, excise tax, a provincial gasoline tax. And then once that's been levied, they put the HST on top of that. So a portion of what the tax is is going on the taxes. It's just not fair. You know, Ontarians and, and motorists in this province are taxed to death. They're over over 30 percent of what we pay at the at the um, at the uh, pumps is actually tax. So, if, you know, for the premier to get up there and say, you know, we need these new taxes and including new gas taxes, it's it's just it's rich. It's not fair. And yeah. and you know, they need to re repair the roads, but they don't need to do it through new taxes. Well, we have two things. We've got to repair roads, and uh, right now there's a lot of that needed with the potholes, et cetera, this time of year. But there's also a plan to spend 50 billion dollars over 20 years or 25 years in order to bring this city up to speed in public public transportation and we're way behind so the project probably needs to get done where's the money come from well you know that, that that's another problem altogether I think that's separate from the roads issue and you know that they tie it together because they want to make people they want to get people out of their cars essentially they want them to start using and embracing public transit but because the money's all coming from the provincial pool they're actually expecting people from all over the province to subsidize transit in the GTA. I, I don't think that's fair. If, if you live in, in North Bay or Ottawa, why should you be paying for, for transit in Toronto? So that's a separate issue. I think it should be a user pay issue. If people want to take a subway or a GO train or something like that, then they should pay for it. It shouldn't be coming from taxes on motorists. All right, but um, for taxes off of the drivers themselves, we're already, as, we, as you were demonstrating, paying more in gasoline taxes than they're spending on the roads. Is there a better way to do it, another way to do it, like uh, hot lanes, for instance? Yeah, I mean, this is, we're starting to see this. It's kind of an embracing innovation and technology. They're using it in California and other places where one of the, one of the lanes on the highway is a toll lane. So if you are in a rush and you need to get to work quickly or, or you're going for work, you can take a toll, you pay a little bit more, and it reduces congestion a across the whole highway. So we're seeing these kind of new technologies in the U.S., and it's, it's working to reduce uh, transit. And also uh, San Francisco has a new model with uh, parking meters. So mm -hmm. they found there was a UC UCLA study that found that most of the congestion in and around core areas came from people looking for parking spots. Just driving around looking for a driving place to around. stop. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Um, in order to combat that, they have these smart parking parking meters so you can go on your phone, you can plan ahead of time where you're going to park and you can do it all online and, and, and so you can drive directly to your parking spot. So there's a few of these kind of neat uh, new technologies that are helping to reduce con congestion in, in, in major cities but I, I don't really trust the Ontario government to manage a problem like that. I think that mm -hmm. it's best uh, left to the private sector and I, I don't trust this government to use revenue tools and actually use it on transit or transportation. You yeah. know, if, if they're raising taxes, partially it's going to 
to fund uh, sunk costs in gas, gas plants and other spending scandals that this government's had. So I don't think they've proven themselves very competent managers. Well, money is too fungible. It's too easy to move around. And I think one thing that people have demonstrated in polling uh, that would make them more amenable to the idea of higher taxes of some sort on drivers is if they knew the money directly went to road construction bridges and on ramps and those kinds of things. Absolutely. And Manitoba has. And Manitoba in 2004 implemented a gasoline accountability act. So the gas taxes were allocated to roads and bridges and they were given mostly at the municipal level. So let the local municipalities determine where the money goes and don't 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 throw it into the big provincial pot where who knows where the money is going to get spent on. Candace, thanks a lot. Thank you, Jerry. Good to have you.